Welcome in the third episode. Today we will implement the gameplay logic. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future releases. So let's open our project and first of all we want to add a few scripts. So I will go to the scripts folder, right click, create C sharp script and let's call the script question data. Question data. Okay, let's open the script. So I will first remove these comments and I will remove the update functions because we won't need it. And then right at the top, let's add another using statement. So using unity engine dot UI. And then let's add few variables. So first one will be public questions. And I will call it questions. And another one will be the serialized field, private text, and this is going to be the question text. Then we will need a few private functions. So first function will be private int count valid questions. So as you remember in the last episode when we have implemented our question data, if I quickly go back to the class, to the questions class, we have a, our we have the public bool variables which is questioned. So this this variable will let us make sure we're not asking the same question twice. So this function which we now implementing will be just count all of the valid question which hasn't been questioned yet. So right at the top inside this function. I will add int valid question will be equal to zero and let's add for each and we want to loop through the questions dot questions list and I will call this variable to be question actually question and then inside this for each I want to check if the question, make sure you put question not questions. So question dot questioned is equal to false. We want to increase the valid questions, but I want this valid to be small letter. Valid questions plus plus right at the bottom. I will put the dbook dot log and let's put the question left plus valid questions and we want to return our, our valid valid questions okay so this function will simple just count all of the valid questions and then above this function I want to add one more public function so let's put public Avoid ask question. So as the name suggested, we're going to ask the random question. So first one, if count valid questions will be equal to zero. So if there are no more questions, we want to put the question text dot text will be equal to string dot empty we want to clear all of the questions let's put the clear questions clear questions we don't have this function yet we're going to implement this one in a, in a bit and then we want to use the scene manager but in order to do that we need to add another using statement so right at the top i will put using unity engine dot scene management and then Inside this F statement, I want to call the scene manager dot load scene and we want to go back to our main menu. So I will just put the main menu and let's now double check if this name is matching the name of our of the scene. So I will just quickly go back to the to the editor, go to the scenes folder, 
and make sure you have the same name as the as name of your scenes, which is the main menu. Okay, let's go back to our script. And then let's finish this implementation. So after we load the main menu scene, we just want to return. Okay, and then outside of this F statement, I want to do the var random index equals zero. And then we want to put the do, do while function uh, loop, and we want to loop while question dot questions list at random index dot questioned is equal to true. And then we want to inside this do while loop, we want to just assign the random index. So random index will be equal to unity engine dot random dot range. And we want to get the question from zero up to the questions dot question list dot count. Okay, so basically what this function, what this loop is doing is just keep selecting the random question until we fi find the question which has not been asked yet. And then outside of this loop, we want to do the questions dot current question will be equal to random index, then questions dot questions list at questions dot current question dot question it to be equal to true so we want to indicate that this question has been already asked and then we want to put the let's put the, the comma and then we want to put the question text dot text will be equal to questions dot question list at questions dot current question dot question so that's pretty much it for this function there is uh, just uh, there is just one function left for this class so let's quickly implement this so below this ask question i want to put the public void clear clear question okay and this clear question will be just looping through all of the questions so for each in questions dot question list and I want to call it question we want to do the question dot questioned will be equal to false and uh, make sure you call this function and you have the same name over here in the ask question and then we need to call this ask question right at the start of the game so in the start function so make sure you put this ask question inside the start function. Okay, let's save everything now. Let's go back to Unity. And then inside our game scene, let's open the game scene. Go to the canvas and then question box. Let's go to the scripts folder, grab our question data and drop it into this question box object. And now we need to assign our questions. So our question will be under the asset and the questions scriptable object which we have created and then text will be under the box let's grab this text and drop it into the question text okay so now when we start the game we should have our first question displayed so what is the question test question actually it just chosen the empty one so let's put the test question one Okay, let's save. Make sure you have some questions in your question data and then press play. So it's test question. So we just ask for the first one. Let's try again. Test question one. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. So now if you wanna add some more questions, so let me just add a few more questions. That's also will be true. So if you have more questions, you can try your game and see that a different question will be displayed every time you start your game. So the question data and question logic works fine now. 
and you can add as many questions as you like. So I think that's it for this episode. Next, in the next episode, we're going to finish implementing this game. We're going to implement the true and false button. And we're also going to implement our scores. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next episode.